Hello, in this video I'll be looking at how to access the live lessons that you have been given for Term 6. In order to access live lessons we'll be using Microsoft Teams which is the same program that you've used for assignments and so hopefully will be quite familiar to you. In order to access Microsoft Teams there are two ways of doing this on a laptop um, or on a computer. One of those is to use um, the app which you can download from Microsoft Office the other is to access it via a web browser. I'm going to show you how to access it via a web browser, um, which is basically the same way as doing it through the app. Um, but to access it via the app, you simply need to click on your desktop icon in order to open up Microsoft Teams. In order to get into Microsoft Teams, you'll need to go to Office 365 or sign into your Office 365 account, which you would have done in order to get onto assignments and onto SharePoint. Once you're on Office 365, you simply need to click on the Teams app by clicking on the grid in the top left hand corner um, and that should take you to Teams if you're not there already. Now Teams will appear um, and on Teams you'll be taken to the Teams homepage. Now again, this is very similar um, to what you've had previously um, and you can see assignments is already there. Um, you will have an access to the Teams that you have been set um, and also any activity. But the area that we're looking at for live lessons will be the calendar. Clicking on the calendar will take you to an Outlook calendar where your live lessons will be displayed. Now, as teachers invite you to lessons, these lessons will appear in your calendar at the time that they are going to be presenting. So, for example, Mr. Withy has already timetabled in his biology lesson for Monday um, and it's between 1.30 and 2.30 and I can see that there ready to go so I know that between the hours of 1.30 and 2.30 I will need to attend that live lesson. Now as the live lesson gets closer and as it starts and opens up you'll then be able to see a join button. Clicking on that join button will uh, allow you to join that lesson. So clicking on it will take you to your settings screen. Here you'll be able to choose your audio and video setting for that test lesson. Now one of those will be the video if it's not please make sure the video is off um, as we're not allowing student videos um, for these lessons in terms of a microphone if you could also make sure that that's disabled to start off with and um, there might be opportunities within the lesson um, for teachers to turn these back on um, to allow you to ask lessons questions in that lesson and um, or contribute uh, but to start off with please make sure that you have turned them off once you've done that you can then click join now and that should take you through to the live lesson that is being presented. Now, there are a few options when you join the lesson in terms of what the teacher will be delivering. They'll either have their video and they'll be presenting as they would in school and you'll be able to see their face and, and, and they'll be able to explain what you are doing in the lessons or they'll share a PowerPoint with you and simply talk over the top of that PowerPoint. Now, that will change dependent um, on the teacher and the delivery style and but both will be accessed the same way. Once you're in the lesson and um, the majority of it will be you taking in the information and listening to what the teacher has to say um, where there is an opportunity to contribute teacher will either unmute your microphones so that you'll be able to access it or they'll ask you to use the chat function in order to um, give answers or ask questions. In order to access this, you can simply click on the show conversation pane and what that will do is it will bring up the chat feature down the right hand side and um, which will display any meeting chat or anything that the teacher has asked you to do. Now, if you want to contribute, um, please just click on the reply button and you take, um, you can then type in what you need to um, and the questions that you can ask or if they've asked for answers, you might want to give an answer in this place. Um, that does go to the whole group and that will go to all students as well. So please make sure that you're using that responsibly. Also, teachers might post um, some resources. Um, so for example, in this one, the test lesson, the PowerPoint has been shared with you. Again, you can download this for future reference um, and anything else that the teachers think that you will need during the lesson, they can also post in the meeting chat. So again, that you have access to it. In addition to that, there's also the raise hand column that you can press um, that will give a virtual raised hand for students, if you teachers, if you have any questions um, during the lesson. 
but basically they are the simple controls that you will need to access the live lessons that you are being given. If you have any questions, please then do let us know um, and hopefully um, you'll be able to access these live lessons as we go through term six. Thank you. Bye.